hello world so in this video we will be making use of uh, the dark web in order to search facebook so which means we will do some facebook open source intelligence using the dark web i am going to show you some certain critical aspects that you can make use of or that you can utilize in order to check uh, because you know that Facebook and other social media platforms are big databases for us to get some free information that everyone has put on their own. So sometimes we have the Facebook information scraped and hacked sometimes and then paste that into dark web databases so we can make use that of that information which is. So now we will have to, to browse the dark web and then be able to see some information that be that can be of great importance when you do your open source intelligence now let's dive in so that we can be able to explore for us to do that you need to download a uh, tor browser right here what you can do tor tor browser yes so this is where you can download tor browser and then i have already downloaded tor browser um now it it is time for us to to just explore let me check tor then i know i've got tor browser right here let me check uh, right so this is tor browser so let me just start tor browser now all right so we have got our tor browser right here for us to be able to utilize that we mm, we have to connect to the tor network and apart from doing this i also suggest that we can enable the tor as a service so that all traffic can travel through the tor relay so let me just connect yes so all my traffic now is traveling through tor so which means it is not only the web traffic but even other other type of uh, network traffic so now what we do we have already uh, on the tor network so what we do is um, to open one of the search engines, amir.fi. So this search engine was said to be located basically in Finland. So this is why it is .fi. So this is the onion version of this search engine. So now what we can do is uh, to type Facebook uh, TM so actually it is called fuck Facebook so I, I I know that the search engine doesn't allow you to type fuck right here because it is an offensive type of language so now we've got this uh, Facebook like I always call it uh, so what we, we we will have to just wait a little bit so that you can redirect it to the dark website so you can see that these are actually onion sites so there we are so what we do before you search right here what you do is to type this uh, so we can validate right here so that you can be able to search facebook through this so <coughs> this is uh, the, the 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 basic database that we can be able to see now we've got uh, the types of uh, relationships that uh, we can use for filtering this information right here even right here you can see we can have the types of gender uh, for for people on facebook this was just updated some time some years ago in 2021 so but it is still efficient because you can see that some accounts are actually still existing so for now what we can do is to search people in in maseru in maseru let's search for people in maseru so we can be able to explore so some information here because we are doing some OSINT, you will have st still need to be verifying this information but we can see that um many people seem to be in maseru lesotho so what we can do is to see we can see 
sometimes we can also see the um, the Facebook ID to prove that it is the actual person what we can do is to maybe open the web open web and then then type facebook.com uh, stroke this ID so that we can be able to check whether uh, it is this person so we can see that it is this person that can be able to appear in the in the darknet search so we can see that it is the person that is actually existing and the name tells us that this person must be coming from the kingdom of Lesotho so this is sometimes information that we can be able to use when we are searching for for Facebook accounts or for phone numbers <coughs> that we can we can we can make use of this dark net or this dark website so that we can be able to see or to search or to verify intelligence or to do some if you are uh, open source intelligence curious then you can make use of this website sometimes you can also filter all those that are married so that you can be able to see then we we can see that okay um there are no ones that are actually married in the kingdom of the somaserile so to somewhere in the Adiani, you can see um then they are they are actually using a botswana number plus two six seven so you can also open source intelligence this number so that you can be able to see um if this number actually belongs to this person if you can go to the service web or the open web then you can see whether this account or this facebook id belongs to this person so let's try to see then we can see this is the actual person that is actually existing <coughs> and the name and the same names if you know Lesotho names and say names it can be easier for you or in your country you can make use of this and then see whether you can be able to utilize this as a resource for Facebook open source intelligence if you like this video please share like and subscribe peace